Port St. Joe officials now have enough money to figure out why homes are sinking in their area. They've received several grants from the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency. News 13's Chloe Sparks is live in our newsroom tonight to tell us how St. Joe qualified for that money. And Chloe, the environmental issues go beyond sinking houses. That's right, Amy. Project officials say there have been contaminants also found in the area. Northport St. Joe officials say there has never been a thorough assessment on the area. Thanks to the Environmental Protection Agency, or EPA, they now have $850,000 to conduct one. We're very proud to know that this work will be transformative and will help so much in the community. A huge problem that needs to be fixed? Sinking homes. Officials say an underground stream used to run through the area prior to it becoming a landfill. Which was made up of basically pine, straw, bark, and wood. And now over the years, that pine, straw, bark, and wood, along with the underground stream, is causing the houses to sink because it's rotten and decaying. Danny Bowden says they know of about 10 homes affected by this, but they believe the problem is much bigger. He says it's very probable the water spread to other areas too. They're also going to study the air quality. The St. Joe Paper Company basically dumped ash. They, uh, uh, there's been found to be some arsenic. There's been some cyanide found out here that's in the groundwater table. Three grants are going to help with this initiative. A collaborative problem solving grant will allow the community to get together and discuss what issues they're having. A job training grant will allow the community to be a part of the environmental cleanup and get paid for doing it. The last one is the big $500,000 ticket item, the assessment grant. I mean, we've been through a lot. We've come so far and I can hardly believe it. Like, I'm so grateful. Officials are hoping to get to work in July. Chloe, what if the money isn't enough to cover the damages? Amy, Northport St. Joe officials say this is just a huge start getting these grants. And by getting them, it's actually going to help with future funding. All right, Chloe Sparks tonight. Thank you, Chloe.